Domestic workers, people whose work sites are private homes, like home care aides, house cleaners, and nannies, are in a particularly precarious position during the coronavirus pandemic. Domestic workers are losing their jobs in staggering numbers, and many lack the protective equipment that they need to keep themselves safe. To make matters even worse, many are excluded from basic workplace protections under U.S. labor law. And this is all especially troubling because this crisis will worsen existing inequalities. Domestic workers are more likely to have been born outside the U.S. than other workers. Over 90% are women and over half are women of color. New survey data just released by the National Domestic Workers Alliance showed the scope of the problem and it's devastating. More than two thirds of domestic workers in the NDWA survey had lost their jobs as of the first week of April. Less than half were able to pay their rent. Three out of four are the primary earners for their families, but 84% don't know if they'll be able to afford food for the next two weeks. Domestic workers who are still working risk sacrificing their health for economic security. A lot of home care aides who care for sick, disabled, and elderly people lack protective equipment. And so do house cleaners, and their work helps families prevent the spread of COVID-19. Domestic workers, especially home care aides, tend to be older than other workers, and that puts them at a higher risk. Domestic workers have long struggled with low wages and the lack of benefits like healthcare and paid leave. And certain groups of domestic workers are excluded from basic labor protections, including those guaranteed under the Occupational Safety and Health Act and the Family Medical Leave Act, which are crucial during a pandemic. These exclusions are the direct result of racist policy, dating back to when Southern lawmakers refused to sign New Deal provisions that included agricultural or domestic workers as a way to carve out Black workers. The COVID-19 pandemic has made things that were already a problem into a crisis. Policymakers need to act to ensure that domestic workers who clean, care for children, and provide home care services across the country don't have to choose between their physical health and their economic survival. <laughs>